Hi guys, um, Piotr here. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever you are. Uh, this is Light Forest Global YouTube channel and we are two minutes ahead of the non-farm payrolls. Uh, wondering uh, what's going to happen. If you remember the morning analysis, I'm going to monitor uh, Euro, Dollar and Dollar Yen, those two. Uh, those two crosses um, when it comes to the uh, long dollar i'm looking to sell euro dollar in case of the short dollar i'm looking to well sell dollar yen and maybe buy euro dollar uh, based on the levels we discuss um, so we are going to have some time i'm not gonna chase i'm going to rather create some uh, trading plan all right maybe for the us cash market um, unless we are going to get some some you know some uh, huge huge uh, difference uh, you know the expectations um, well the expectations are a little bit more positive after Wednesday ADP right that's for sure 30 seconds uh, the average market expectations uh, right now uh, Minus seven million seven five zero, almost minus eight millions. So ten seconds to go. We'll see. Don't forget that from the uh, from the dollar perspective, earnings, average earnings, could be also important. So the dollar yen spiking a little bit higher. Uh, euro dollar spiking a little bit lower and the numbers so we are going to hit more stops above 109.40 as discussed this morning well I don't know some strange numbers I see like lab low labor may non-farm payrolls plus two million consensus minus eight i don't know if i see that correctly that's that's strange looks like unemployment rate 13.3 consensus was 19.5 US non-farm payroll for for May fell uh, so it's a plus two and a half G's uh, I don't know average earnings 6.7 percent versus 8.5 expectation 7.9 participation rate 60.8 versus 60.2 previous Jeez. So the range was minus two to minus 10 million and we got two and a half million up. And if you want to tell me that this is a, this is the right number, then I don't believe in that. Then I don't believe in that. Anyway, uh, so the plan is <laughs> the plan is to sell euro dollar and now based uh, on uh, the morning uh, the morning um, discussion we are breaking so we should find some support around 1260 1250 with this Riley based Riley right uh, but that's the failure here. That's the failure, upside downside. Uh, so there is a possible supply. There is a possible supply right here, right? So I'm looking to sell on Riley's towards in between 1325-1340. But that's I don't know if the number is not gonna be corrected or so.
I don't know who is in charge of the data, but it's it's incredible. I I, I don't want to say that I expected, you know, uh, big disappointment or big. Uh, well, after Wednesday ADP, I did expect it's not gonna be that bad, but I didn't expect I didn't expect something we've seen right here. So again, guys. Just to be sure, 13.3 unemployment rate. Forecast was 19.7. The previous was 14.7. Uh, and dollar is rising because the yields are rising after the job reports. Uh, that's something we are going to discuss. Incredible, incredible situation. Now, the thing is, now the thing is, because we've seen very negative dollar sentiment. So now the question is if the sentiment will prevail or it was like just stop hunting and we are about to see, um, I don't know, something new when it comes to the dollar. Incredible stuff with this data. Somewhere here, right? I'm going to look for so somewhere here. If seen. Just intraday, pure intraday approach. So in that case, 110 on dollar yen towards the end of the day could be the case. Uh, so we broke 109.40. Let's have a look how we be behave towards the end of the uh, end of the hour. Uh, and well. That could be, don't forget we have the stop of the channel, so that's why I want to see how we are going to behave towards the end of the hour, because looks like it's Riley base Riley, so pull back in between 109, 35 let's say, and 15, in case of the strong close and the early, jeez. So nice Friday, nice Friday surprise. Nice Friday surprise. Anyway, guys, uh, so, uh, well, I'm looking to sell Euro dollar as described and I'm gonna be cautious uh, with the dollar yen. I wanna see US cash open and how, how it's going to behave. Uh, around how the uh, US stocks will react uh, on the cash market. That's the first thing first. And second thing, I want to see where we are when it comes to the uh, London fix. Uh, incredible number. Uh, so guys, be careful out there uh, because now we are trying to settle non-farm payrolls. And important thing is, uh, what about the dollar sentiment towards the end of the day, end of the week? Uh, if necessary, I will make one more update. Otherwise, we are going to uh, we are going to meet again uh, probably uh, over the weekend with with crypto update. A uh, few quite interesting things uh, there as well on Bitcoin. Anyway, guys, uh, it was my pleasure uh, to be with you uh, with this non-farm payrolls update. Be careful out there! Big, 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 big upside uh, surprise. Don't try to chase the market wait and see mode for me now take care and goodbye